Well, today in Salem, Republican senators continued their walkout. And because not enough senators are there for what's called a quorum, legally the Senate cannot do any business. So as the House continues to work on bills, the Senate continues to be stalled. This is the third straight day that we have failed to achieve a quorum on the floor of the Oregon State Senate. As promised by Senate President Rob Wagner there, they are going to drag the session now into the weekend, with the Senate scheduled to convene at 9 a.m. tomorrow. While Republican leadership has said some members may get to that 10 unexcused absent threshold in order to test the constitutionality of voter approved measure 113. That measure passed last November as a way to stop walkouts like this very thing. Time will tell on that piece. But before we get to your comments, one other thing to note, a $2 million check from Nike co-founder Phil Knight just cleared into the account of a political action committee that seeks to get more Republicans elected to the legislature. The check was written a month ago before the walkout, and it's not his first contribution. But certainly interesting that the check was cashed as the walkout continues. During last night's show, we painted a clear picture about what this walkout is all about. The content of a few contentious bills themselves, not the readability of the bill summaries, which is how the Republicans are spinning this. We asked for your thoughts and we got responses that kind of ranged on either side of the issue, with the majority of opinions sounding a lot like this. This GOP walkout is typical of what they do. If they can't have their way, they grab, take their ball and go home. They're just a bunch of whiners, in my opinion, and they need to pull up their pant, big boy pants and sit down and vote no like we know they're going to do, and even if it passes, they just need to be adults and quit acting like little children. And Scott wrote to us, the Republican Party's reason for their walkout is ridiculous, ludicrous, and transparently absurd. What it does show is that they have poor leadership and reading skills. And Liz says, give me a break. Repubs insisting they're walking out because bill summaries are unreadable? Seriously? Are they keeping a straight face when they say that? Yes, by the way, they are. And many of you feel very strongly about this, even those of you who are Republicans like Michelle. As a lifelong Oregonian and Republican, I am utterly disgusted at the behavior of the Republican senators having the audacity to walk out and not do their job. I remember when they did this 15 years ago. I believe it was like, what, 10 or 15 years ago? And I was equally appalled then, and I wish that every single one of them could be fired or forbidden from ever running again. We voted for them to do a job, and they are not doing it. And I'm, I'm taking names, and I am not voting for these people again. Of course, there are some of you who disagree with that, and you do agree with the way the Republicans are handling all this. Catherine says, when the Democrat politicians stop trying to civilly legalize immorality or making it a priority over necessary issues, then the Republicans have the right to be absent and not create a quorum. Democrat Party policies are the reason Oregon is in such bad shape. A viewer named Pat wrote to us to say, when the Senate Democrats tag all these so-called reproductive and gender-affirming issues, what do they expect the Republicans to do? Roll over? Heck no. Republicans have no tools to fight back for those of us Oregonians who believe in the sanctity of life and the rights of parents to protect our children from indoctrination and mutilation. Time will tell how long this walkout lasts, by the way. In the meantime, we wanted to highlight a few more viewer thoughts from folks who are appreciative of our work that we do here on The Story and our format that kind of sets us apart from the normal newscast. And by the way, we're not just patting ourselves on the back just to feel good. Think of it kind of like a restaurant or a business who tout their good reviews and receive in an effort to attract more people into our community. Last night, Lori told us, thank you for the piece on the walkout. Your team did a fantastic job of breaking down the issues into understandable morsels of info. A++ journalism. Thank you, Pat Doris, for this, your program, the story. I love it. I love that you address the issue and give your opinion, whether everybody agrees with it or not. That's wonderful. And I just wanted to say, please keep it up and keep telling it like it is. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's not just me. There's a big team. I want to thank everyone for your feedback. We really do read all the emails and we listen to all the voicemails and we appreciate the dialogue to make sure that we're plugged into the issues that you care about. 
That's the end of our show. Thanks so much for watching. Remember the story, our collective story? Well, that never ends. The team's already hard at work planning another great week of shows next week. But for now, stick around to catch the news at 630. And I'll see you on Monday.